So in keeping with that bronze and black theme on our 2024 Mustang GT, we've done the wheels, we've done graphics, we did the rear emblem, and we did the 50 emblems. The only one we haven't done is the grill pony. Why? Well, it's the hardest one to do, and it's the last one we actually finally got in stock for this car, but it's here today, and me and Corey are gonna show you how to install it. There's a variety of reasons to take your front bumper off your 2024 Mustang. So in today's video, we're gonna show you exactly how to do that. So we offer several different versions of the factory OEM grill horse. This is for the night pony package if you want that blacked out look. In our case, obviously we're gonna go for the sinister bronze found in the bronze package. We do also offer the original chrome if you wanted that for whatever reason. Now, unlike the previous models, these on the back actually have screws that hold them on. So the old process of snapping off the tabs to install it with double stick tape isn't gonna work for the 24, it's a little more involved. We will have to remove the bumper, so let's get started. The first part of this process is taking off the radiator cover. It's held on by eight clips, so just pop all those out and then pop the cover off. These last two clips will be a little bit trickier. You might want to grab a pick to be able to pop the clips up. Once all the clips are removed, remove the cover. With the cover out of the way, there's going to be seven small screws across the front here. Remove those next. I do want to mention, if you do not want to take your bumper cover off, there is a way to get to it up through here, but you have to remove your hood latch, all these plastic pieces, and loosen a lot of clips in the way. Honestly, it's a lot more work. Taking the bumper cover off isn't that bad. Now we'll move on to the wheel wells. So as you just saw, there's going to be two bolts inside the fender here. Now you're going to want to remove those two bolts to be able to remove the bumper. Now there's two ways you can do this. If you have small wrists like me, then you can more than likely fit your hand down into the top section here, or if your arm's a little bit bigger, you can actually go through the fender liner to be able to access these bolts. With the wheel removed, we can now access the inside of the fender well a lot easier. Now you're gonna to wanna to remove six clips. They're gonna be along the side here. Now, I know ours only has five. For some reason, our six clip is missing, but we'll replace that after we're done with everything. And when you're done with this side, go ahead and repeat the exact same process on the opposite side. With all the clips removed, you can pull the splash shield back and disconnect the marker light in the side of the bumper. Now we're under the car. We're gonna remove these six screws. These two here, two here, and two here, and then a bunch of clips for the belly pan. And now three more push pin clips. One here, one in the middle, one over here. With everything removed, we can now start removing the bumper cover. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna come over to the fender side here, grab the bumper behind the splash shield and pull down. You are gonna have to use some force because there are some clips holding this in. So as you can see, the design is very similar to the 18 to 23 Mustang, but this clip is a lot more heavy duty than the previous years, and it's definitely a little bit harder to get out. With the sides removed, pick it up off the top alignment tabs. 
So as Bill and I were pulling off the bumper cover, we noticed that the weather strip actually has a clip here on the end of the plastic piece. Now what you're gonna have to do is you're actually gonna have to disconnect the weather strip from the end, and then you'll be able to pull the bumper cover off. And then as it comes off, reach down, just pop this harness off, and remove the bumper cover. So with the bumper off, you can see now one, two, three, four retaining screws. Remove those and the factory pony will come right off. So if you're curious, the 15 through 23 ponies actually will fit in this opening. The studs are not long enough to use the original mounting hardware they used, so they did thicken the actual mounting pad. Why did they go to a bolt-on? Honestly, I have no idea. But again, no tape to deal with. It's honestly a little bit easier to remove than the factory tape. I will mention the factory holes are not threaded, but they're just plastic. Just gotta use a little bit of torque to install these, don't go crazy. And ready to reinstall. All right, pick the bumper back up. Don't forget to plug in this harness. It's for those little lights in your grill. Once you have the front in the correct position, go ahead to the side of the bumper and get it lined up and push it into place. Reinstall the weather strip clip and then install the screws across the top. It's now time to install the two bolts into the side of the bumper. Again, if you have noodle arms like me, you can go through the top or you can go through the fender liner. So while Corey's finishing tightening down the fender to bumper hardware, I'm gonna reinstall the radiator cover. Reinstall the clips into the fender liner after you're done with the top side. Then back underneath, we'll start by reinstalling the screws. Then lastly, three push pin clips. And you're all finished. Our sinister bronze emblem is installed and it really ties in that whole bronze and black look we have going on with our 2024 Mustang GT. Now as far as the installation goes, yes you have to take the bumper off, yes that's intimidating, but as you saw it's really not that bad to do. Give yourself I'd say an hour and a half to two hours tops, you're back on the road in no time.